Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda, I'm a part-time reseller and I am doing my most favorite thing today, doing a thread up mystery unboxing. So I have box number four of my last thread up 200 pound bulk mixed clothing rescue box purchase. And if you've been following along, this has been my best so far. And I think this is the fourth, fifth, I don't know, I've lost count. I know I got one order that I didn't even record because I was just overwhelmed with life at some point last year, but I have never been disappointed. I have a lot of comments asking, you know, are you sure it's worth the risk? You have to make that decision for yourself. For me personally, I won't take the risk on the 25 piece women's clothing, the 50 pound or the 100 pound. That's just what works for me and my business. The cost of goods in this box has never been over a dollar and 48 cents for me. You'll know by the time this comes out, how many pieces I had total in this order. I will put it down in the description below, but on average, it's been between $1.32 and $1.48, which is more than my bins here. I know that is about bins prices for some people, depending on what you pay. We only pay $1.29 per pound, but honestly, I have not even opened it. Well, I cut the tape open, but I am already in the profit and I've only listed maybe 10 items from between the three boxes I've already opened, but I took stuff to buy, sell, trade. I sent stuff back to thread up and partner kits and I've sold maybe two items and I'm already in the profit. So for me, it works. And the first three boxes have been amazing. Hopefully you've watched those. They're some of my most recent videos. Uh, you're probably not new here, but if you are, hi, welcome. Crazy Amanda here. I like to wear t-shirts that say things. All you need is love but a little wine never hurt i like wine i like mystery boxes and i'm in orlando and i love disney and so yeah let's jump into this i feel like this has to be a dud right out of i mean i'm probably i should not speak negative energy into my box i should speak life over my box but you know what honestly like i'm so overwhelmed with construction and just everything i have going on that i would be totally okay donating everything in this box unless there's like something amazing so it's gonna have to be really really great to make it to my super large death pile. But what I plan to do with the most of this stuff is probably send it back to thread up, which I, it's just been working well. I am going to buy sell trade stores next week. So I just love it. This is the most fun part. I almost broke my back lifting this box up on a chair. So I'm not going to lift it up again to show you, but they pack these things full. The last box only had 60 pieces, which was the least I've ever gotten in one box. It was full of coats. So uh, if you see anything in any of those videos, uh, if I haven't taken it to buy, sell, trade, I'm happy to dig it out of my death pile and make you a deal. So here we go. Let's just dig in. I already have a box here to kind of sort things. And I learn so much from you guys. So um, treat me like a kindergartner. If I say I've never heard of a brand and you're like, Amanda, how do you not know that? Please help me. Comment below. Let me know. Chances are I will not have done any research by the time this video goes up in the next few days. And I really, you guys are so helpful, truly. I made the switch to selling women's clothing in addition to kids uh, maybe a year and a half ago. And I've learned a lot from YouTube. All right, so this is the brand Polly. We're gonna start off with a brand I've never heard of, but it has the Australian um, AU, UK, US, and EU. So I don't, it doesn't seem that well made just based on the feeling of it, but it is a little dress, kind of reminds me of fast fashion. Like this seam in the back is, not well done. I can see you through it. So Play-Dohs possibly, we'll see. And if I say I'm sending something to Play-Dohs or Style Encore, I'm going after this video comes up. So if you see something I've put in there and you're, no, wait, save that. That has happened. Please let me know. Okay. Um, ooh, now this is an okay piece. I don't know the condition, but this is the an Adidas Stella McCartney collab. I got a, um, a lot of Lululemon in these boxes and that's what I've sold. I kind of made a priority to list those. So this is just a, it's actually quite heavy jacket and I apologize for the lighting. I have skylights and it's noon and the sun is literally straight. It's just, it's bad, but this is the only time I have to get this video done at the moment. Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna do a lot of talking and I try next video. I'm not gonna talk as much. Okay, so this has a tag cut out. That's unfortunate, but it happens. This is, a cardigan and it's just a cotton rayon nylon blend size extra large so this is actually something that I might see if my mom wants she loves purple and 
It's just a cute open front cardigan. So I'll put that in a pile for my mama. Okay, this is from Walmart. And I know because I have this exact same shirt. It's just an athletic, I don't, athletic works. This is an extra, extra large. It's a really cute, I have it in purple. Just a workout shirt. Um, and this is probably gonna go to Play-Dohs. I don't know if they'll take it, but we shall see. Ooh, this feels nice. This is Banana Republic Factory, size small. A kind of an open knit, chunky-ish cardigan. It is um, a wool blend, acrylic, nylon, and wool. Definitely has like some dog hair on it. I just don't like navy blue because I can never tell if things are like faded, but we'll see. It's being that it's factory, I'm probably not gonna wanna take the time to clean it up, but we'll see. And I already know that I have more than enough amazing things. I did also send some things into the real reel from these boxes, so. All right, this is a size six Old Navy Pixie pant. Here we go. I'll list some stuff from Old Navy. That's not one of them, but this is High Sierra. Is this, I think Sierra is like the Aldi brand maybe. I don't know, it's just a t-shirt. Nothing exciting there. Some Calvin Klein, a four petite curvy fit pants. This seems like the perfect type thing to send back to thread up in a partner kit. I just got my order from Gap. You guys, I know some people have said that their partner kits are on hold right now. I think a lot of people can't even order regular kits. Thread up's a little overwhelmed right now with stuff. I know that also because I buy rescue boxes and oftentimes they're all sold out, but every day now there are a ton available, which tells me they have a lot of inventory and um, anyway, I chose Gap for the last couple of months and I just got $600 worth of Gap clothing for free because uh, when you spend a certain amount of money, they give you Gap cash where you have to wait like two months and then you can go back. I think they really hope you'll forget about it, but I got $150 off when I spent 300 plus everything was an additional 30% off clearance. Plus I had my partner kit gift cards. It was amazing. So I bought my husband a bunch of new clothes because he's the kind of guy, he will wear stuff with holes. He does not even care. So I have to just like steal stuff from his drawers and put new things in it. All right, this is a brand I don't know. Um, what does it say? Promesa, Promesa. I don't know, it doesn't feel that great. So maybe like a Francesca's type deal. It's like a hot, very high-low hem dress. This is a striped. I would say so far, this is definitely the worst box because I've had the most Tags totally cut. So this is just a striped, very lightweight cardigan. Not car cardigan, no Amanda, sweater. There is a tag in here. Um, it just says it's a polyester spandex blend. It seems maybe like a extra large, maybe my mom will want that, probably not, but I'll put that in her pile. This is, oh my gosh, I can't read this. Don't know what that says. There's a tag in here, rayon polyester, and that's about it. So this is just a cute burgundy. This is a cardigan. This is a turtleneck, a lot of wash wear on it. Rayon cotton spandex, what's the brand? No brand, so there's that. These are New York and Company, size four petite pants. Definitely stuff like this is gonna go back to thread up because my buy sell trade will not take it. My dog is playing with his favorite toy. Arlo. All right, these are a pair of Under Armour leggings. Again, no size, it's been cut out. It's definitely a bigger size, a medium or a large. I can just tell because there's like lots of extra room back here. And this is about the size I wear. Uh, my local buy sell trades will take stuff without tags. So this feels nice. Cute little keyhole back. Well, nice little bl blouse sleeves, but there was no tag up there. There is a tag in here, 100% polyester. There is an RN number, but there's no tag up here. So, 
don't know. I don't see any designer stuff yet, y'all. I got some pretty amazing stuff. I can. T this tag has also been cut. This, they, this is the box of rejects, okay? I knew that it, there had, it had to come a time where they couldn't all be that amazing. My last box, y'all taught me about the brown mousy, right? Is that, I think, I had no idea. Wowza. Okay, I can tell this was Wild Fable though, because I know the tag. I mean, it is a cute little dress, but it's from Target. And it is, does feel like a, a, a larger size, maybe a large, larger size. I wear a large. Okay, this is Venus and it is a size extra large. So I am happy to see that there's not just all extra smalls in this box. This is a one sleeve, one, yeah. But it is, there's a pop stitch right there, so. I'm not gonna lie and say that I'm not a little happy that I can just donate some of this stuff. I'm making a donation run tomorrow. We are cleaning out our storage unit. We've had since Jan January, June of 2020 because we were building on to our house and it's just not like my, the plumbers just left. My new bathroom, my pool bathroom is done. My kids no longer have to share a tiny little guest bathroom. I can go in there and flush the toilet and use the sink. It's amazing. So anyway. We're just now cleaning out that storage unit and so I have, I'm taking so much of it. If we haven't used it in a year and a half, it needs to be gone. All right, Morona size small. Let me quit talking. Just an open front cardigan. Dried up usually takes the Morona stuff back and I've had luck selling it there. On Focus Studios size six. I really, this is one of my favorite colors. I love this color and like army green. I just like them with my skin tone, except for the lighting. It's still the sun is like right. I can see it shining right through there. So this is just a cute little lace overlay dress. Worthington size two petite pants. Nothing special to see there. Seventh Avenue, New York. So, oh, a blouse. What do we got here? another cut tag. So this is why I don't, I'm not willing to take the risk. This is a 50 pound box. I would be kind of disappointed. Um, so I don't think I told you I paid $460 for this order, which broke down to about $115 per box. I mean, if you're somebody that's going to list every one of these items, sure, there's always going to be profits to be made, but so far a lot, none of this stuff is really worth my time personally to list. So this is Banana Republic made of Italian yarn, but I need to wash the tag at least. It's a size small. It's really pretty, it's, it's like shimmery. And it is 41% nylon, 38% wool, cashmere. So this is something provided. I need to look over it better that there's no holes. I will hand wash the tag because it looks a little yellowed, but that is something I, I might actually sell myself. This is inside out now. Michael Kors. Size tag is cut. You can go outside in just a minute. This is very heavy. This is a dress. Okay, I was like, is there no? Here we go, here we go, here we go. This is a floral dress. It is probably a size large maxi dress. This is cute. I might try this on for myself and wear it to something this summer. Cause it's, it, it's very, I love the Michael Kors, very thick quality dresses like that. This is, this feels like a curtain. <laughs> this is no idea. So this is a very tiny dress. It has like that sticky stuff to hold it up. It's smocked in the back. Very short, probably a size double zero, something like that. Okay, so it's an old navy, it, it is old navy and it's size two. Just like a little cotton dress. Under Armour tank top, no size, Under Armour run. <coughs> These things are always dusty. This is Dance Skin Now, just an open front. Let's see. It is an extra large, put that in my mom's pile. Oh, this was $16.99 at Marshall's, one clothing. My dog wants to go outside and chase lizards. Like a midi, stretchy, ribbed, striped dress. All right, this is Nike Dry Fit. Size small. Hello, they don't wanna hear you barking and I don't wanna edit. This is timing, 
size large. Now, this is a very short crop, but this is something like Plato's might purchase. This is Rue 21. Again, maybe Plato's will want it. Just a really basic tank. And we have barely made a dent. This is Michael Michael Kors. Again, the size tag has been cut. These tags must, people, do they cut them or do they come out really easily? Because I swear, anytime I get Michael Kors, the size is missing. This is a really cute, like, tweed looking zip up jacket, like a business jacket. Um, let's see. Mm. There are so many languages, I don't know. We're looking for the, here we go, here we go. It's just acrylic and cotton. Come here, come lay down. Come on, come here. This is H&M Mama, which means this is a H&M maternity shirt. Once upon a child might take that. This is Marona, size extra large, just a, like a little basic dress, but it's cute. Ooh, pair of Joy Lab extra large. I love Joy Lab. This is from Target. They're they have really comfortable. Oh, there's the mailman. He backs up so close to my front door. I really think he's going to be like in my house sometimes when I look out the door or the window. And our driveway is super long. It's like bam, the truck is like in the window. Anyway, these are size extra large. A sports bra. Oh, I think he actually is bringing a thread up fun box. It was supposed to be delivered today. So that's exciting. This is a matching set, which you don't usually find in these boxes. And the top is a large, the bottom is an extra large. I think that's okay. That might actually sell. I'll probably list that myself. This is, it looks old, Rhonda Lee. The tag is so old and worn, I can't read it. Just a floral, doesn't feel very great, but I'll look it up. Oh, there he goes. He drives like a wild man. We've actually had to make a lot of complaints about our new mail carrier, like delivering stuff to the wrong pack, the wrong address. I'm very grateful for our postal workers. I really am, but he's not, he's cranky. He's very, he's not nice. You say hello and Anyway, this is um, a shirt dress. This is, a, this is a, uh, from Walmart, Fade of Glory, size 20, but it doesn't, maybe it's a dress. I don't know. Sorry, I'm kind of all over the place today, you guys. I am doing 17 things, and the only reason I'm doing this unboxing right now, I've been very, in, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. I wasn't going to open this box yet because I'm, I'm very intentional. I'm opening the boxes, dealing with them. This is in my living room that I need out of my living room because we're having a birthday party here in two days. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to move this to my bedroom or it's going to get stuck in a corner. Let me just do the unboxing, get the video up there and deal with the inventory part of it later. So I'm forcing myself to get this done so I can tell that my mind is just in a million places. We have construction workers here working on tile. The, do the dogs are everywhere. All right. Rafella Comfort, size four. And I'm just talking to you guys as if my friends are just chilling in my living room with me. It's cool. <laughs> this is a fun print. What is this? Sag Harbor. This is definitely vintage size large. A skirt. Oh, gotta go. It's um dry rotted, but I like the print. This is just your basic. Like I feel like I'm at the bins right now. This is new with tags. Um, it's in pounds says Italy on it. I don't know what it is. Some kind of poncho. Yes, it's a poncho. It says made in Italy, acrylic and nylon. So it's, it's just a poncho with a cowl neck. No brand. This is Ruby Road, size medium. A very sparkly sequin cotton-ish sweater. Nothing is holding my attention at this moment. Tracy Evans, just some black capri pants. Come on, we need one good thing. Let's spice this up. Okay, Prana, decent. There's the um, logo. It is a sweater. I call these beach sweaters. 
that's not what they really are in my mind because this is what is nice to take on a boat or the beach when you're just chilly and throw it on over your bathing suit when the sun goes down so i that's maybe like the third thing that i might sell myself got a little velvety massimo tank we've got dust cynthia rowley 100 percent two-ply cashmere so this is a brand I find all the time, like at TJ Maxx, but, um, nope, not selling this one. I said I would need to check it for holes, but literally, as I said that, I looked down and there's a giant hole right here in the arm. So, womp womp. This is something with a tag, why? Tag cut, size 3X. It would have been okay, like, Got some cute embroidery at the bottom. But, oh my gosh, why? Wow, it's so dusty. Worthington Petite Small. Just a like under the blazer, little silky blouse. Massimo, size medium. Okay, so they threw all the crap from my first three boxes into this one box. <laughs> Another Worthington Petite Small, very similar, just a different color. Exertion Extra Large. Is that sold at Target, Walmart, one of those? Another very sparkly Massimo little sweater. This is Now and Forever. It just seems like a cheap Ross kind of deal. Size small shirt. Okay, here we go. Something else decent. These are a pair of Gymshark leggings. Gymshark always sells quickly for me. No tag up here, but remember sometimes the Gymshark tags are down here and this one is, yay, they're in the ankle. It actually has a tag, oh my word. It even has the size, y'all. Size small, it's amazing. It's like the first one I've had that actually has the size. I will list that. You know, honestly, sometimes in these boxes, you might only end up with a handful of things to list yourself, but you'll recoup all the money just from that. And then for me, I enjoy this because I enjoy trading at the buy, sell, trade stores for inventory that is worth my time. So it is a process. And these type of boxes are definitely not for everybody. Exhilaration, size medium. I love mustard yellow. It doesn't look that great on me, but here's the sun still up there. Sorry, the lighting's changing so much. This is Bellatrix. Size small, little shirt. Are the sleeves supposed to look like that? They look like someone cut them, but maybe they're supposed to be like that. Valerie Stevens, two ply cashmere. I don't have high hopes. It says it's a large, but it's awful small. So someone probably put that in the washer. What are you? Um, TSE, I don't know what that is, but this is just a very, there's the sleeves. So it's like a cardigan, like, but really wide this way. So it's, instead of being a long cardigan, it's that way. I don't know. This is divided H&M size large, just a zip up hoodie. This feels like paper. Lady Arrow but it's so thin, it feels awful. I don't know. Oh, there's a, a belt with it? I don't know, watch this be something, but it literally feels like I wouldn't wanna wear that. Here we go. George Stretch, so I think that's Walmart. Little skirt. Sag Harbor, size medium. That's like JCPenney or Sears or something like that. I like olive green, but this is just Marona. This is like the Target and old school Target box. Just a button up shirt. This is BCX size large. Like this box literally smells like I went to the bins. This is another Massimo size medium. And I cannot be disappointed. I feel like if, if, if I had opened this box first, I might've been really disappointed. But 
if you hopefully you've watched part one, two, and three. I mean, at least watch one of those and you'll be like, oh, okay, makes sense. All right, here's another Worthington, size small, probably sent in from the same person. The other two are petite smalls, but very similar in style. What is this? Ah, oh, here we go. Mud, size extra, extra small. I feel like there's a lot of like career older woman and juniors are the two things in this box. This is my little bump. So someone sent in all their maternity clothes as well in this box. This is Eden and Olivia, size large. Like a, not even a flannel, some kind of button up. We're getting there, we're almost to the end. Ann Taylor Factory Petite, Zero Petite, Crops, Capris. This is a heavy little cotton blazer. What is this? There's an extra button. Polyester rayon spandex from spring of 2012. Gap size large. With shoulder pads. Just a blazer. Yeet. This is a jacket. Tag was cut. Very much a vegan leather, um, just like a really cheapy moto jacket with no brand, no tag. Okay, this is Champion, no, the si or size small, but really worn leggings. Okay, we have like a trench coat. What is this? Maybe this is something. Spell edit. No, it's a brown belted trench coat. It kind of reminds me, like it looks like a London Fog type thing. Okay, maybe it is nothing because this isn't, doesn't, it looks a little cheap on the inside. Anyway, so no size on that. I see a tag from Target. So this is size medium, a new day, shorts with a belt. So these are cute. Shorts, yes, with a little tie around them. So these are cute. I might actually keep those for myself. We'll see. Like four more pieces. Rachel, Rachel Roy could be okay. This is, hmm, this is the back, so it's open. I do see like some poles in it. There we go. It is, I don't see a size. I don't know, just the RN number. I don't think I saw a size up there, no. So it's like a colorful, metallic, shiny something. I might look that one up. This is a Banana Republic size two. Like they're thick cotton. Just a little stretchy dress. A pink athletic. Can't even read that, but it looks like, you know, one of those cheapy brands doesn't feel very good. And the last piece is none other than Massimo. Size extra large. So am I happy with this box? No, this box was full of crap. There was like maybe three or four good pieces that Gymshark, um, yeah, this is definitely, I kind of like spoke it into existence. This is the worst box of the four, but overall I am pleased. It was absolutely worth my $460, like I said, because I've already made that back and I still have at least three more trips to buy, sell trade stores, at least two more boxes to send back to thread up in partner kits. Um, yeah, so I'm not ready to take on another 200 pound order yet, but when I am ready for, excuse me, for more inventory, absolutely. I love these boxes. They're my favorite. If you have never ordered from ThreadUp, I do have a code for that. And I think you get $15, something like that. It's down below. So I will let you guys know how many items were in this box and what that worked out for my cost of goods for this entire order. So I thank you guys so much for watching and hanging with me. And I'm going to go see what came in that fun box. All right. See you in the next one. Bye guys.